Hey guys, so um, this is a game that my bro wanted to play, and it was made in RPG Maker, right? And um, <laughs> what the fuck? What? 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 What is this? It's probably a wonderful game. It's Super Lesbian Animal RPG. Welcome to Green Reach Demo. I'm playing, so... by the way. I picked this one. So it's some kind of... So it's, so it's a furry game? Yes. Also, what is your fixation with lesbians? I can't possibly answer that. Like, if you want me to get deep for a second, I really could not tell you. I mean, I know lesbians fi what, what lesbians' fixation with lesbians is, but I don't, I don't know what your fixation is. Uh, I don't know. Like, if... I mean... It, I don't know. I'll think on that one and attempt to answer you as we play. <laughs> so by the way, this is a demo and the developer said it would actually be out whenever it is, so that's stuff. And I don't know much about it beyond the fact that it's lesbians and furries and an RPG and it's supposed to be really um, cute. Is, it, so it, is this going to be weird? No. I don't know. What? What do you mean you don't know? <laughs> I didn't actually read much of the about page. So... I'm, I'm fairly certain it will be fine. These instructions don't help me. I'm using a gamepad. Uh, da, 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 F1. Uh, do, friggin', where's the mouse? <laughs> Shut up. Where's, uh, what are, what game are we doing? That doesn't, how, screw it. I was, okay. Anyway, let's go. It's adventure. An introduction. Your name is Melody Amaranth. That's a stupid name. Fine to me. Amaranth? Yeah. I don't know. It makes me think of one of those flowers from Breath of the Wild that you can eat that gives you more armor. That... That's so? an Amaranth. Lots of girls are named after flowers. I don't... care. <laughs> I don't uh, like Breath of the Wild. Okay. Besides, she's trans, so... Huh. Your name is Melody Amaranth. You are a timid fox who lives near the small town of Green Ridge on the scenic Sapphire Islands. You'd lived a quiet life with few ambitions since high school, mostly content to let yourself coast along on autopilot. But you always felt that something was missing. A few months, months ago, something finally clicked and you came to two important realizations about yourself. One, you're deeply in love with your adventurous best friend, Allison Galetta. Gal Galetta? And you probably have been for a long time. Oh. As it turns out, the feeling was mutual. Yeah, because I was about to say, she, she looks like some kind of adventure butch lesbian person. <laughs> Stereotypes. Well, based off of what I've seen on Tumblr. And I'm two, if Allison has her heart set on becoming an adventurer, then maybe you could join her. As a healer. So you and Allison took up your friends Claire Higsby and Jody Caldswell on their offer to join their new adventurers guild. I like the tiger lady. Yeah. It seemed like a perfect opportunity. But that, admittedly, hasn't gone very well so far. Okay, so... Hmm? She, she's a city girl, but she's a city girl in a world where fantasy adventure is a thing? I guess. I mean... I don't know if it's a city. Green Ridge just sound like just seemed like a town from what little I've gleamed of this, but you know. Just I don't know something, something about her and her bio or something. I don't know. She she seemed she, she seemed like a, uh, blah, blah, blah. I can't talk. She seemed she seemed like a city girl to me. Might be. I have no idea. While your relationship with Allison has emboldened you, your many insecurities didn't disappear overnight. And healing magic is still an art that normally takes years to master. <laughs> So, to give you a leg up, Claire decided to cheat the system. <laughs> what? She acquired a highly dangerous spell said to be passed down from Fortuna, the goddess of magic, which could grant her two inexperienced friends the magical abilities they desired. For you, this meant making a big decision. Mm, okay, I'm playing. So pretty. I'm, there's no diagonal movement. I'm slightly annoyed. <laughs> but yeah, it's... I mean, this one God, it hurts my brain. Ooh. Hmm. Pretty. I hope there's an explanation when I click on a door. I like the ground. 
Yeah, it's. I should. This I is should like those find... coloring books you used to get. Yeah, the Lisa Frank books. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, who, who, diamond. I need to. I should find whoever made this. This door leads to the path of a resolute paladin, strengthened mm. by sheer force of will and a faith in one's own abilities. Are we straight up Kingdom Hearts saying it for a moment? Maybe. Well, I wouldn't be doing this in the first place if I didn't have some confidence in myself, right? Wait, you should have read that. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry. Just the floor. I, I can't concentrate. It's so rainbowy and pretty. And, I... and the colors are moving. <laughs> Look at all the colors. This door leads to the path of a woodland paladin, strengthened by faith in Mother Nature. Oh, so they're all paladins? I guess so. <laughs> This one sounds like a decent option. It probably wouldn't hurt to get more in tune with na bleh, with nature. I wasn't paying attention to anything. What are the two doors we have already looked at? I just can't stop looking at the floor. So this is a woodland paladin for one who likes nature, uh -huh. and this is a resolute paladin who believes in themselves or whatever. Okay. God, that floor is pretty. Look at all the stars and the moons. And the <laughs> This door leads to the path of the amorous paladin, strengthened by a faith in the power of love. That's the power of love. Um, if I'm understanding this one correctly, I'm pretty sure I'd get. Bleh. If I'm understanding this one correctly, I'm pretty sure I'd get free superpowers just for dating Allison. <laughs> I like free and lesbians, mm -hmm. so <laughs> that's a bit of a simplification, but sure. Here's this path. Um, hmm. well, you're the one playing, so I, I that guess... That seems like easy mode. Uh, I'm betting that this is easy mode, the left one's medium, and the right one's hard. Ah, that makes sense. Yeah, fuck it, why not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we're having to leave the pretty room. And with that, the choice was made. All oh, those pretty stars and shit. You were granted the, the powers of an amorous paladin. And the moons! There was no turning back. Several weeks later, in Green Ridge. I, I expected it to be silly, like, Oh, no, no, you, you, you get to spit back out in the room now, make another p choice. <laughs> okay. Man, even, even this right here is so pretty. Stats. Hmm. A timid fox lives out in the woods. Lately, she's been studying healing magic and trying not to have a panic attack. <laughs> uh -huh. Nice super zoomed in look at the sprite. Instead of, like, I don't know. What the? I don't, let me ask. <laughs> okay. Look at those dancing flowers. Yep. Everything's so pretty. Yeah, so yeah, I told you this game was probably cool. This this makes me want to play around an RPG maker. Um, I feel like this barrel might be a little nicer than the one I, uh, bleh, than the one I have at home. But maybe I'm just being self-conscious. Probably. What? <laughs> just look at those buildings, man. Yeah, this is very neat. Those fucking trees. Can I get oh, around anything? Triangly looking. Look at whoever the fuck that is way up there. No, I'm looking at this house. Mm. This is Allison's place. Pretty! I wonder if this axe would be useful. I'll just leave it here though. It's a little it's a little pointy for me. Wuss. Sure. This has gotta be Allison's favorite song or something. Mm. Hmm. Let's just look at the there's like Okay, the speech bubble's kind of covering up, but there's like... There's a little light. Oh. She plays it all the time. It's like all those little light oh, yeah. decorations. Yeah. I, I found a Tumblr theme that had stuff like that on it. Um, But then it messed up my pictures and made it so that... that like, instead of stretching or squishing or whatever, they just kind of got chopped off. So I'm like, oh, I can't use this. Hmm. I haven't gotten around to fixing it. <laughs> <laughs> um... Well, it would appear Allison's not hiding in her wardrobe to pop out and surprise me. Not this time. <laughs> what? As much as I could go for a nap, I probably shouldn't be taking one in Allison's bed when she doesn't even know if I'm in... When she doesn't even know I'm in town today. Hmm. Can I, ch I can't check out these weird shorts or whatever. What's so weird about shorts? Everything. Okay. Um. I see there's still a lot of stuff that hasn't been unpacked in here. So... So Allison just moved in? Yep, and she's a slob, we've got clothes everywhere, and look at this TV. It's much better than mine. I, I like the couch, man. It's like... Wait, no, that's... The the colors or something was play, playing tricks on me. I thought, like, the back was, like, not the same height. Like, one of the things was, like, lower than the other ones. Yeah. Um, one of these days, we're going to redecorate in here, and we'll finally move this couch so it's not one foot away from the TV. Good idea, because I can't, I can't watch TV. <laughs> oh, 
I want to know if there's any good in here. Cool magnets. <laughs> <laughs> Wicked. That's Allison and me. I mean, I was trying to click on the lamp, actually, but you know, whatevs. Oh, can I click this poster, too? I think this is a poster from a show Allison went to in high school. Riveting. <laughs> anyway. These pink and yellow flowers symbolize me and Allison's love. Should I be giving them her, like, such a high-pitched voice of, she's like, trans? Because if she's trans, then... I don't know. I've heard there's, like, a reoccurring thing that trans girls have, like, deeper voices. Maybe. Should I be voicing her? Well, no, I mean... I don't know, man. <laughs> or something like that. Ask Miss Leon what kind... Ask Miss Leon what some nice romantic flowers to plant would be, and she just gave me some that matched my fur and Allison's hair. I mean, I guess that works. That guy's not suspicious at all up there. <laughs> probably totally cool. Big spooky cat guy. So, <laughs> Bartholomew. So, you whippersnappers fancy yourselves adventurers now, eh? <laughs> How old are you? 17? 18? I'm 22. Uh, sir? 22 years old. Kids these days. No gumption. <laughs> what? Why, back when I was your age, I'd already tried to conquer the world twice. <laughs> if you kids didn't spend all your day doing this planking nonsense or whatever it is you do, you'd have a lot more time to be productive. Hey, planking is out. Tea posing is in. <laughs> I have no idea what we're talking about. You know, just... Tea posing. What? <laughs> yeah, people just standing around. Tea, tea posing. It is the new planking. What the fuck is planking? It's... You, you don't know what planking is? It's like an exercise? Um, Beyond that, I don't know. It's like you fucking... You sit around in really stupid locations like a plank of board. Like a, a board plank. Uh, it's That's like, stupid. When we were teenagers, people would do it in the road. And I'd be like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? I, okay, yes, I do remember that now that you mention it. <laughs> but I've never heard it called planking. You could learn a thing or two from my granddaughter, Pepper. She's very ambitious. Just full of machinations, that one. What are machinations? Like, schemes. Ah. Um, well, it's been nice and... Um, well, it's been nice talking to you, Mr. Leon. No, it hasn't. <laughs> I like that guy. Goddess Fortuna and the gift of magic. <laughs> this statue has got to be one of the most valuable... This statue has got to be one of the most no valuable one. thing on the ar archipelago, which is a collection I, of small islands. I got I got confused because it says thing instead of things. Because there's no one of. This statue has got to be the most. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can read. This statue has got to be the most valuable thing on the archi arch archipelago. Archipelago. And also the fanciest. Hi, Jody. That's the night one. I okay. Think. Okay, you're a tigress. Um. Melody, haven't seen you around. Haven't seen you around town lately. What have you been up to? Straightforward answer or play it cool? I'm gonna play it cool. <laughs> oh, not much. Did some. Did some spring cleaning around the house. Got a little reading done. Learned my first healing spells. The usual. Nice. Hey, if you're picking up some healing magic that quickly, maybe we'll be able to go on some kind of expedition with Claire and Allison soon. Well, I don't know if I'm quite ready for that yet. Oh, it's not that scary, trust me. Claire hypes it up, but most of the places she wants to check out are harmless. Just some local wizard ruins that she thinks we might be able to find an artifact or two. It won't be like what happened last time, I promise. Still, I don't know. Maybe sometime soon. But I'd like to practice a little more first. It's cool. This is all new for you. Whatever pace you're most comfortable with is probably best. Anyway, I assume you're looking for Allison, right? Am I really that predictable? <laughs> yes, I'm looking for Allison. But unfortunately, that answer will have to wait till next time. Because I have a sense of timing, unlike some people. 
Goodbye, everyone. Hey, I have a sense of timing. Goodbye. I'm just trying to get to the end of the Friendship episodes. Ooh. The end of the thing. The do. Bye-bye. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this is my series. Why so, are you fucking? So say it. I can't. You jumped in literally one second after okay. the recording started. Okay. Well, let's stop the recording and redo it. No, I don't want. No, no. <laughs> I'll, I'll kill you. <laughs> I mean, I won't, but I'll pretend to. <sighs> anyway, I should be looking for that's right. Oh, you already read. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, okay, but seriously, um, are, are 15 minute episodes long enough? Because... I mean, that's fairly standard. I don't know. It, it didn't feel like we did much. We didn't, but I don't, I don't fucking care. Okay. Am I really that predictable? Unsurprisingly, yes. I'm looking for Allison. Well, that's good. I'm sure she's dying to see you. If she hasn't texted you about it or anything, I think she's got some big news for you. Please tell me she didn't. Oh, no, no, not another trampoline. What? Oh, trampolines. thank God. Well, I don't like trampolines. They're all staticky and fucking hate staticky shit, man. I mean, I don't use them often, but they're a good workout. Did you remember the time that, like, literally everything was electrocuting me to death? Yeah. That was fucking horrible. Sucked for you. It was cool, though, because I could put, ba put batteries in my pocket and they would stop, and then I would have charged batteries. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> and useful. <laughs> uh, anyway, um... Well, I guess I probably shouldn't ruin the surprise then. Allison can tell you herself. You've got me curious now. Well, I'd better get going then. Have a nice day, Jody. You too. Ooh, is that a save point? That looks like a save point. Doing this whole voicing yeah. thing is fun. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you could use it to save your progress. I can't <laughs> believe it. Wow, so many files. I love how everything looks in this game. It's so fucking cute. Yeah. And you thought this would be weird. I'm just... It's you? What does that mean? <laughs> hey! I'm the most kawaii deaf person here! I'm the one who writes cute stories and shit. That, that is true. Uh, like, um... Higgledy, higgledy! Sometimes we, like... What? So, sometimes we get to talk about our stories... I'm just all, like, lament over the fact that I can't write a happy story to save my fucking life. And then he'll talk about his stories, and it's just like, Oh my god, this gives me life. This is, like, the sweetest fucking shit I've ever fucking heard. I wish she like had just, an idle animation. Like, just, just, just... Okay, one sec. I will stop talking about this. Just, he does the whole fucking the thing with the characters who grew up together. You know, friends. Friends who grew up together, and then they go off on adventures, and it's just... Ah! So fucking cute, and sweet, and precious, and there's, like, dark stuff, but it's completely overshadowed by how sweet and lovable everybody is. <laughs> anyway, you should actually post your stuff for once, ever. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're over there making weird noises outside. <laughs> <laughs> making weird noises outside? Um, let's see here. Uh, what kind of voice? Mm. I don't know. Um, Melody, hi! How's how's my favorite pla- <laughs> One day I will stop getting tongue-tied. No. One day I will learn to read. No. <laughs> Melody, hi! How's my favorite Paladin doing today? It's pronounced Paladin. Paladin? <laughs> wow, I've only been a Paladin for a few weeks and, my, and I'm already your favorite? Well, you're in my top four for sure. I don't know what a Paladin really does, but I know you're giving it your all. Uh, thanks. So, how have been the? How have things been going at Pit? <laughs> okay. So, how have things been going at Piggly's? Pig Piggly's? Piggle D's. Piggle D's. Piggle D. Piggle D. Piggle D's. <laughs> Business hasn't exactly been booming, but hey, still living the dream. Uh, hey, <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> hey, boo -boo. Still living the dream, though. <laughs> oh, I got a good review from a food critic recently. 
I think the uh, I think they said we have ambience. Do you know what they? Did, did you know we had that? It's pronounced ambiance. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember putting that on the menu. Well, that's great. Why are you just standing outside the restaurant on your day off, though? Oh, I was just waiting for Claire to stop by and grab her paycheck. I like giving it to her in person. If I don't see her in ten minutes, I guess I'll just leave it, uh, leave it in her, her and Josie's mailbox. Jody. Jody, shut up! I can read. <laughs> I can remember her. I swear I can read. <laughs> what was that voice? That was me lamenting. Fucking... Do I have dyslexia or something? Maybe. Uh, anyway. I can remind her to drop it off. Drop it. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I can remind her to drop it. To drop that. I. I can remind her to drop by if I see her. <laughs> I hope your channel gets big enough to get like animated and somebody <laughs> just goes in and animates you fumbling words from several different video games. It's just the fucking, um, the, what's it called? What are, what are the, compila- it's the Ashy Can't Read compilation. <laughs> uh, that'd be great. Well, I'm sure you're busy with uh, your adventure and business or whatever. I won't keep you. See you, Beverly. It was nice talking. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Bartholomew said it wasn't. <laughs> Bartholomew said it wasn't nice talking to him. Today's special is Beverly's homemade chocolate cake, 195 gold. Big carrot single, 95 I, gold. I thought I thought that was Graham, and I was sitting here questioning why it's telling you how how much the cake weighs. Deluxe <laughs> Hot Fudge Sunday, 295 gold. And I have zero gold. <gasps> do, I have, broke. do I have skills? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Give Allison a little peck on the cheek to boost morale and raise all her stats by 15% for five turns. That's cute. Stores hmm. a decent amount of HP to one friend. Also builds Melody's star power. We have star power? We're Mario now? Wait, I thought that was a Kirby thing. I don't remember. <laughs> I can equip a spell lock. That's neat. Huh. So anyway! This, this game just makes me want to actually... Can, this whole thing where I keep having to read. I'd love to get a bite to eat, but Piggly's is closed on Mondays. It's a Monday, huh? Okay, well, what the fuck was I about to say? This game makes you something? Oh, yeah, this, this game, uh, just... It makes me want to do sh fucking shit with RPG Maker, because I, I got it, like, forever ago when it was on sale. Yeah. Never did anything with it. I mean, I did something with it one time, but then I... This feels like progress. I'm gonna go the other way. I think I lost my game file somehow. Like, the folders and files and shit just disappeared <laughs> or something. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what the fuck happened? <laughs> <sighs> What a nice place. Hey, it's Pepper. It's Le Leon's granddaughter. Ah, okay. Um. <clears throat> the, uh. When I grow up, I want to be just like my grandpa. A powerful sorcerer? No, evil! Hey, do you know about spell books? Uh, you mean like. books with spells in them? <laughs> wow, you don't know anything, do you? Not just any old spell books. I mean, spell books. <laughs> <laughs> spell books are. Uh, spell books are special. Spell books are special pieces of equipment that can teach you a whole new. <laughs> teach you a whole set of new abilities. As soon as you equip one, you can use all of those new spells right away. You don't have to worry about training, about training or your level of. You don't have to worry about training or your level of experience or nothing. You just read them right out of the book. But if you remove the book from your equipment, poof, the spells are gone. You can't use them anymore. Also, they're kind of heavy, so you can only equip one spellbook at a time. Aren't spellbooks cool? 
Almost as cool as your as your fucking pauldrons there. It, the the shoulder things or yeah yeah little sonic <laughs> pauldrons. <laughs> I want to use them, but my mom is worried about me becoming an unstoppable force of destruction. The likes of which, the likes of which Green, the likes of which Greenridge has never seen. Well, okay, maybe those weren't her exact words. Anyway, when the anyway when the store is really open tomorrow, please buy some spellbooks for my mom so I can live vicar vicariously vicariously through you. <laughs> <laughs> mom, I'm guessing. It, is that? Yeah. Uh, sorry, got. It's, it's a quathrin. <laughs> it's, a, it's a what? A quathrin. <laughs> I mean, she looks like a pan panther to me. I mean, a puma maybe. Anyway, um, well, wow, there's so many characters I gotta find voices for. Apparently, she looks kind of scraggly. <clears throat> You kids are adventurers, right? Care to buy some spell books? Wait, are you the mom or the older sister? That's the mom. But he says she fucking she says dad. She's talking about the old dude outside. Right, shut up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Okay. Um. <laughs> Sorry. I lost my. How I was doing whatever. Well, I didn't like your voice, anyways. Dad had a million of these th old things collecting dust around the house, and we figured it'd be better to sell them to folks who could, who would actually use them. If these were Mr. Leon's, then aren't they a little dangerous? <laughs> oh no, no, it's it's fine. He got rid of all the real scary ones years ago when he gave up villainy. At least that's what he tells me. Mom, if they aren't dangerous, why won't you let me touch any of the spell books? I'm sorry, honey. These are for grown-ups only. If something's dangerous, it's probably ten times as dangerous in the hands of an eight-year-old. Or a hundred times as dangerous with me, right, Mom? That's right, sweetie. But my dad's just... Bleh. But my dad's just a hoarder. When he was an adventurer, he'd grab any old book he found, regardless of whether it was useful to him or not. That's how I played Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> it was terrible after a while, because I didn't have a place to store them. Dang. Are, are you able to get one later? Like I mean, a, yeah. Can you, can you buy bookshelves? You can buy a house and books and all, shelves and all that jazz. I would like... try to I would try to build shit in, um, what's it called? Uh, Fallout? Yeah. But I was never totally sure if I could trust my stuff to just lie around, or if somebody would come up and take it, because I, I don't know if NPCs can do that or not. Mm-hmm. Anyway. <laughs> We've got plenty of spell books that would be useful for adventurers for adventurous kids like you without being too dangerous though. But you're gonna have to come back tomorrow if you'd like to peruse our wares. We ain't officially open yet. That's D nice. Does does he know that, that they're selling the the books? The Ab Abjurac Ab the abjuration. Abjuration. The abjuration magic section. I think this is mostly protective spells, like what Faith specializes in. But there are, but there are also some healing type spells that are considered abjuration spells. I think. I don't know. This is all pretty new to me. Same section. Yeah. <clears throat> um. What was it? The Conjuring Magic section. Okay. You, you have to actually oh, RPG up. makers like that. Okay. This mostly involves summoning things, right? Yep, some of those Conjuring spells can make things get... Some of those Conjuring spells can make things get in real interesting real fast. One time I got a spell back that let me summon a ghost! Well, that was the last time I let her grandpa go... That was the last time I let her grandpa go birthday present shopping without me. Oh, I didn't even notice they have, like, the names of the sections on top of the shelves. Oh, it's really tiny. I can't read it from back here. This is education. Hmm. Or evocation. Evo yeah. The evocation magic section. This must be Claire's favorite. Fireballs, magic missiles, that sort of thing. My favorite section, too! 
Sweetie, what have I told you about magic magic missiles? Don't. The illusion magic section. Huh, this spellbook says it can make you look hotter? <laughs> <laughs> that one's a little misleading. It just makes makes it look like you're on fire. I was hoping that would be the joke. <laughs> Uh, All right, so we've successfully wasted another episode doing nothing. I like this family. <clears throat> Sorry, but I don't want cus customers poking around upstairs. But seriously, do you, you want to just... Yeah, I'm going to split. I I guess 15 minutes is kind of short since I'm poking around like an idiot. So I'll, I'll mix them together. 30-minute okay. episodes. We ha. Woo! Bye-bye. <laughs>